everyone so I haven't updated in four days now it is Friday today um, I realized the faults in this um, updating process I realized I really shouldn't be updating you guys every single day because um, I'm gonna miss out vital things that I feel like I kind of come across every single day so in saying this I'm gonna try and do a very short vlog every single morning if not every other in the morning or, or you know I'll try and do it every morning and upload it during the day so today's video is just going to be a recap of what's happened in the last four days um, obviously I'm just gonna tell you what's happened because I haven't done any recording um, also what's been going on in my life what I've been learning and some new cool things uh, so let me see day one uh, day one and two both were very good actually um, I've been doing my 10,000 steps and, and actually 10,000 steps isn't that hard at all um, Usually on a whole day's worth of shopping, which is something I do a lot, I, I manage over 10,000 steps. Um, so it, it kind of indicates that, I, yeah, I walk enough, but I don't do enough cardio exercise. Because walking is a good way to start moving, but it's not a good way to get your heart pumping. So um, I that's why I have so much stamina when it comes to walking. I don't have to stop when I, when I walk. I can walk for, for miles and miles. Um, but when it comes to running, my fitness is zero. So um, I've been... I've been consistently trying to walk a lot. Um, I've been using the good old Ped. Ped's here, paused at the moment because I am sitting down. But um, he's becoming increasingly useful actually. And I'm whilst I'm trying to get to know this little gadget here, I think that it, um, him and I are going to have some really good times. So that's been really great. Days one and two, I drank well, ate well, exercised, exercised well, um, slept okay. Um, that is something I really have to work on. Uh, come round day three uh, was my interview day and I had an interview on Wednesday that was mildly um, different because on Wednesday I ate well but in the morning I didn't really feel like eating because of the nerves that I did have. I ended up after the interview having a Starbucks but I think um, th that day I ate within my calories. No I didn't actually know. I walked within my steps but I don't think I ate within my calories. I'm unsure because what happened was was that afterwards I went to see my girlfriend and we had drinks. Granted I only had one glass of rosé, one glass of a mixed cocktail which I believe didn't have that many different drinks inside it um but the thing that really got me was the kind of platters and nachos we all shared and i tried to limit myself but at that point i was really hungry again and obviously um having traveled across london i was starving so um i don't think i drank my water properly on day three either um roll around day four which was yesterday. I didn't manage my 10,000 steps, yes, because I went shopping. I was at Blue Water, which is in Kent. Um, I didn't manage my 10,000 steps and I didn't drink all of my water. I believe I drank about one litre as opposed to two. I walked around 8,000 steps as opposed to 10,000. Um, but the thing that was very good about yesterday was that um, there was evidence of planning and discipline. Because before I had gone to Blue Water, which uh, was a shopping mall by the way, um, we had planned lunch and I thought what can I have for lunch and my sister really wanted to go to Crepe Affair which is a place that makes crepe like the French pancakes and they do all sorts of fillings so we thought we'd look at the nutritional information on the website and luckily uh, and you find lots of good restaurants and good food outlets, they have nutritional values on each of their meals and whatnot. so luckily each one was around about 400-ish per crap and that kind of was my quota for lunch so I could have a crap um, but the idea was to have a crap and only a crap nothing else and luckily the crap that I chose came with a three bottle of water or juice so I chose water and I had a veggie delight and I was completely satisfied and happy the discipline came in when everyone else wanted another crap i.e. a dessert who has who has two crepes in a meal I don't know but they wanted a dessert one and when I protested they said no and they wanted to have ice cream so I said no to all of that I didn't have a milkshake I didn't have an extra smoothie nothing like that I had one crepe I had water and that was it so I was really 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 proud of myself I mean at the time I did feel a bit crap because who doesn't want an ice cream I, I was dying for an ice cream but I thought you know what 
not like you've never had an ice cream before. It's not like you've never tasted it before. And then think about it. What's going to happen afterwards? You're going to feel like absolute and utter crap. Not bec um, because of the sugar low and because you'll feel guilty. So I was like, it's totally not worth it. Um, it's not like it's some foreign ice cream you've never had before. So I said no. I uh, went home and had lots of delicious vegetables for dinner. Um, so yesterday was good. Um, I'm not going to beat myself up about the water intake or the, or the steps. I mean, I did 10, I did 8,000. I mean, that's more than 5,000. Um, and that's, you know, three quarters, more than three quarters by there. So it was good. Um, today has been funny, actually. Um, I'm starting to get into smoothie making. It's, but, and this is totally inspired by um, Auntie Shay, who I idolise on YouTube. And I've been watching her since she very, the very beginning. So um, why I didn't do it with her when she was doing it, I don't know. But I do take inspiration from her every day. I watch some of her videos every day, when I'm, especially when I'm feeling demotivated. You know, she really gets me fired up. So, um, got into smoothie making. We went and bought like, a chocolate of fruit. Um, this morning's one was mixed berries and banana with a little bit of honey. I wouldn't have done the honey but my mum really wanted some and we put a little bit of soya milk in because she doesn't really drink normal milk so we drank some soya milk with it. And it was good. It was a good smoothie. Um, currently I am using calorycount.com if you guys don't, I think you guys know I'm using calorycount dot about dot com. Um, so far I've had the smoothie. Let me look into my food log. Um, and for lunch I had stir fried vegetables with fish and rice now and the interesting thing about that is that I wish I skipped out on the rice I didn't plan for plan it I did weigh everything as I went along logged it I didn't realize that 150 grams of white Thai fragrant rice which is typically what a Chinese family eats um, was 545 calories shocking I know so in turn I only have 311 for dinner tonight and um, the scary thing about tonight is that I am going to work tonight and it's a Friday and tomorrow's a Saturday and tomorrow I'm not going to work but I will be seeing friends and that means we're going to a barbecue and then it's drinks and dancing in London <sighs> as if life couldn't give me a harder challenge but I am ready for it 311 calories tonight. There's still plenty of food. If I do go over, it will only be 1,300 calories, which is still lower than, you know, that I will still lose weight if I eat. But I'm not going to go over. I'm not even hungry. I, you know, I had a big lunch. Um, and that's it. One thing I did want to show you at the end of today's post was pictures, um, what are they called, like body shots. And the reason why I'm leaving it to last is because I don't want anyone to be offended. I don't want you to suddenly have these pictures on your screen whilst your child or whatever, your husband, is walking past. So, I'll, I'll tell you when. But I, I decided to do underwear body shots. Um, I didn't want to be afraid of doing it. I just thought that if I did it once a month, it would help you guys see results. It would help me see results. Um, it will stop me from being so self-conscious. You know, I mean... It's my body. I mean, Jesus. When you were underwear, bikini, same thing. It doesn't really bother me. But I mean, granted, saying that I've never worn a bikini in my life. I did try it on once, but that was a that was a no go. So um, at the end, there will be pictures. Um, if you look on my blog now, on the quick progress timeline, I'm going to be posting them once a month along with my stats. Um, and I have been updating every single day on my blog, so I might not do videos, but there's definitely going to be a blog entry every single day, at least for every single day. Um, but overall, yeah, um, the last thing I did really want to say, um, kind of note about the progression in this, is that I feel fantastic. I feel amazing. You know, like I, I'm finally, I haven't felt bloated in a long time. Since the, since Monday, I have sneakily oops, I have sneakily weighed myself, but that's just something that I do that I should explain. Um, I weigh myself most days, and I know some people might think that's unhealthy, but I really do think that if it helps you, it helps you. Do you know, do something that really helps yourself. And weighing myself neither discourages me, um, but it reminds me of my goals. And it's not, it's it's become a ritual over the years that reminds me that this is why you are doing it because look at your weight and i'm not and i don't i'm not a very obsessive person like i don't have obsessive behaviors i don't get obsessive very easily because i have a very short attention span so uh i weigh myself from time to time 
Um, I'm doing well. Who knows what the scale will say on Monday. I am taking it with a pinch of salt. I realise that it might go higher, might go lower. So we'll see how it goes. I am not too upset. I have done well this week. I am not beating myself up. But, um, so, so far, so good. Um, other things about this week is that I've realised how much I love vegetables. Um, I haven't eaten much meat this week at all. I have eaten a lot of fish. I know some people who go through diets, and I hate the word diet. I've decided it's just horrible. The word di the word die isn't diet. It's awful. I don't like the word. I, I believe in healthy lifestyle change, and I think in order to succeed, you can't obsess, and you can't become too fanatical. You can become passionate, but there's a, there is definitely a fine line between passionate and fanatical, and I think where I'm at is good. I'm, I'm happy with myself, and I, I can see improvement, but I'm not going to beat myself up over, you know, a slight increase in sodium. I've had one litre of water debt today. I've still got the whole day to go. Um, danger of working on the Chinese takeaways that there's food temptations, but you know what? I... I, I saw discipline in myself yesterday and I see it, I, I think I can do it again. Another wonderful thing is that I've been sticking up positive affirmation um, post-it notes around the house. So, doing well. Hopefully I can update you tomorrow or the, ne or the next day or whatever. Um, you guys have been fantastic. Uh, already 80 something subscribers I've done in two videos. Uh, high five guys, high five. Thanks everyone. Okay, so now I'm going to post a picture of my body. I have to say, I'm very unhappy about it. But, um, yeah. So, if you don't want to see it, or if you don't want anyone else to see it, I would highly advise you click across now. Here I am. This is like my front, back and side. I, do you notice that the back of my body is like, worse? I mean, I mean not, I'm not saying either side is very good at all, but yeah. It's positively, and, I, and I've done my little smileys on the kind of inappropriate areas just because I think, you know, let's not offend everyone you can possibly um, offend. But I don't like anything that I see, honestly. I'm not even sure I really like my boobs because they're not, I don't know, I don't mind them. They're probably the best part, but, you know, they're not real. If you think about it, they're not real. Because they're not really my boobs, they're my boobs stuffed with fat. So, not nice. I even have fat feet. <laughs> but it's okay. Soon enough, this will be um, non-existent. I really don't dislike my arms. And I really... You know what, there's nothing I don't like. I mean, there's nothing I do like, I mean. <laughs> but yeah, so that's it. And the last thing I did want to say is that if you want to ask me a question... You are more than welcome to go on my blog. On the very right hand corner, the moment you hit my blog, is a talk to me chat box. And I have this on my other blog as well. And the reason why I like this is because it's sort of like MSM. I reply by writing at and then your username. So you have to check back for your reply, I think. And um, you will get a reply. I will try and reply to you. We can even chat on there if you want. <laughs> Uh, um, and that's it really I hope you uh, thank you for everyone who I know has been really really supportive um, you guys are the best and I'll see you tomorrow fingers crossed yeah bye